Hi everybody, today is January 12th, 2014. Nuclear deal with Iran to come into force on January 20th. Six world powers and Iran have agreed to start implementing an interim nuclear deal. On January 20th, the EU's foreign policy chief Catherine Ashton said in a statement on Sunday. Now the key word here is interim. Once again, this is not a permanent deal. This is only a temporary agreement. Ashton represents the six nations, the United States, Russia, China, France, Britain, and Germany in diplomatic concerns with Iran related to the nuclear standoff. She said the sides would now ask the United Nations nuclear watchdog to verify the deal's implementation. We will ask the IAEA to undertake the necessary nuclear-related monitoring and verification activities, she said. Under the November 24th agreement, Iran has promised to curb its most sensitive nuclear activities in return for some relief from Western economic sanctions. Iran and six world powers have agreed on how to implement a nuclear deal struck in November. With this term starting from January 20th, the Islamic Republic official state news agency reported Sunday. The report from the IRNA quoted Iranian Deputy Foreign Minister Abbas Arali confirming the news without offering any other details. There was no immediate confirmation from the other countries involved in the talks, though the semi-official ISNA news agency said a joint statement on the agreement would be released in Geneva and Tehran. But today, Iran's nuclear chief said that it defended the country's right to carry out research on advanced centrifuges. Advanced centrifuges, which are Iran's right to use, were one of the points of disagreement raised by the other party. They claim they are just testing these more advanced centrifuges. The Book of Files, Iranian and intelligence sources says in their report that it, this is a lame excuse to account for the real situation, which is that Iran has not even started implementing any part of the Geneva Accord that it signed last November 24th. Sources reveal that the new state-of-the-art centrifuges are not only already in place at the enrichment plants in Ferdu and Nataz, but Tehran has brazenly informed the negotiating powers that even more advanced centrifuges have been developed and soon will be installed for test runs. There has been no suspension or slowdown of 20% uranium enrichment. That's what they agreed to do. Uranium enrichment to 3.5 and 5% purity continues apace in disregard of the ceiling agreed in Geneva. Advanced IR-2M centrifuges continue to roll off the assembly line. Iran has not stopped preparations for moving up to 60% enrichment and is being urged by many voices at home to go up to 80%. Iran's pretext is that this level is necessary to fuel the reactors of a nuclear vessel. It is building. I've done reports about that, that that is not true. It's a big lie. There has been no pause in the high-speed construction of the heavy water plutonium plant at Iraq. Neither is any slowdown at the research and development centers for nuclear weapons. Since the military's dimension of Iran's nuclear program was left unmentioned. Unmentioned was left unmentioned in the Geneva Accord. Tran is at liberty to continue this pursuit free of international inspection while denying it is taking place. I made a video about exactly how much purity for uranium they need for different projects. With the new development of nuclear power, you'd be surprised at how little uranium they actually need to make these nuclear submarines different medical equipment, etc. They have a new type of processing called caramel. France has offered this technology for nuclear submarines where they would only need 7.5 percent uranium for the nuclear submarines to operate. They just keep putting off buying time to develop their own nuclear weapons. They have two that they bought from Russia back when the Soviet Union's government, the economy fell. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.